Your next position was the Christmas from Korea, Kang Dong Su. And welcome back to the 2014 ITTF World Tour Japan Open in Yokohama, Japan. I'm Adam Bobro, and we're at the men's singles quarterfinals where Yuto Muramatsu is going to be playing Korea's Kang Dong Su. Yuto Muramatsu is a chopper defensive player with short pips on the backhand side. Bit unusual for many players. He's going to be able to attack the ball a little bit easier without having to twiddle the paddle. Muramatsu has been playing very well the past year or two. Haven't seen him in recent tournaments quite as much, but he definitely made a name for himself as a junior not too long ago. At 17 years old currently, he's world ranked number 16 and is the 25th seed in this tournament. I think I might have a little bit of information off there. Keep you posted on that. Okay. Kong Dong Su from Korea has had an outstanding tournament so far. The 20-year-old beat Grigory Vlasov of Russia 4-1, the number 28th seed, and has had some very impressive showing here so far. Just beat Hugo Calderano, up-and-coming Brazilian player. Hugo Calderano had an outstanding tournament himself. So for Kang Dong Su to overcome this, definitely showing impressive play. So Japan having a lot of representatives here in the quarterfinals. This is our first streaming men's singles quarterfinals this tournament. Yuto Muramatsu chooses to serve. Players are going to have a two-minute warm-up. And it's crazy to think that for the past two years, we've seen Muramatsu making a name for himself, even though he's only 17 years old. Very strong attacks from both sides of the table. Excellent footwork. Muramatsu beat Sweden's Hampus Sutherland 4-0. And Hampus had an outstanding tournament as well, taking down one of the top Chinese players 4-0. After having a very strong performance in the Korean Open, Muramatsu then went on to beat Yang Hung Wei, player from Taipei, 4-0. You can see our umpire here from Thailand, Rong Viriachai. Pairuch, an assistant umpire from Australia, Yukako Brown. Muramatsu played to get to the quarterfinals in the round of 16 versus Huang Sheng Sheng of Chinese Taipei. The lefty who we've seen in many doubles matches played the finals of the Korea Open, losing to the two young Chinese players. One of the best doubles players in the world. Incredible backhand over the table play. Seeing a defensive player warm up here. Pushing at the table. Time. Muramasu versus Kang Dong Su. The first game, Muramasu to serve. Lap off. Muramatsu is going to start us off in the best of seven. Shule still looking pretty long, even after that adjustment. Love all, game one.
and it just barely clips the edge of the table. What a thrilling first point for the defender on defender match. Muramatsu over the table, able to not bump the table. Kong takes the first two points, is up 2-0 with the serve. And that's a three-love lead for Kong. Muramats just settling in. One, three. And that's the first point for Muramats. Huge forehand from in at the table. These points are much shorter than many defender, defender points we see. The expedite rule here to protect us from long, slow rallies. We have a lot of excitement and power from both players. Four, two. A little bit off the top of the net. Kong apologizes for it. Kong is now leading four points to two. Excellent power from the defender playing offense on this point. Oh. Kong out wide to the oh. forehand side. Oh. And quick decision. Kong changes his mind and leaves it up short on the table. Muramatsu backing off. Not able to stay in for the shot. Trailing two points to six. Ball hits him in the shirt. Both players acknowledge it quickly. Six, four. Kong has a good opportunity to go wide. A little bit ambitious, overdoes it to the side of the table. Could have been a four point lead, now just two. Six serving four. Five. Six, five. And the floating chop, not a lot of spin on it. Kong misreads, loops it too long. That ball was dirty, floating back, just cutting through the air, barely over the net. Heavy, heavy chop off those short pips. Last oh. four points in a row have gone to Muramatsu. Six each. Four. Seven, six. And again, the floating chop, overlifted by Kong. Five in a row for Muramatsu. Seven. Oh. Big forehand to the middle, right into the net. Can read off the long pips, the ball's pretty loaded there. And Kong with excellent placement deep to the backhand. Steps right into the table, ready for that ball to come over the net if it drops. Four, seven, nine. Looked like a little twiddling there. Muramats taking with the short pips on the forehand side for the opener. Now trailing seven, nine. Last three points in a row have gone to Kong. Eight, nine. And we're going to
going to have no shyness of footwork in this match. Deep to the backhand, light spin comes running all the way in for the big forehand, but is not able to take the point. One point game, Muramatsu trailing, 8 9. Let, Let service. Let nine. And the big misdirection, forehand down the forehand line of the table for two game points now, Kong Dong Su. Starts with the first chop, stays right in close to the table, really twists his waist to get around this ball and hug the line. See him pull through that ball. Excellent technique. Two game points, Kong. Little break off the top of the net for Muramatsu, and now it's a one-point game. Kong still leading. Game point, 10-9. And Kong takes game one, 11-9, over Yuto Muramatsu of Japan. Game two just after this break. And after an 11-9 game one, Kong Dong Su now leading one game to zero in this best of seven match for the men's singles quarterfinals. Chopper versus Chopper, game two. Floating the back a bit long. Extra spin from Muramatsu. And that chop was left just too high and close to the net. Kong able to step in and exploit the wide angle to the forehand side. Tied up at one point each. Huge ripping forehand. Muramatsu spinning and swinging through that like a tornado. Look at this twist. Just rip. Ball hits his own side of the table before coming back. Heavy chop from Kong. Muramatsu getting a little impatient. Thinks he can put more pace on that than he could. Tied up at two points each. Both players having trouble reading the other's chop. Heavier underspin than we've seen in slow mo yet. Miss hit there by Kong. Feet a little bit flat for that shot. And Muramatsu starts off with a nice lead, up 4-2 early in game two. Oh! 
And while the psychological effects are different for how a point is won, a point is still a point. In a pushing rally, no problem. Left, four, three. Lead service. Muramatsu's gonna try that again. Five, three, five. And the touch shot sails just long. Kong down by two with the serve, 3-5. Four, three, six. Chop left a little bit high with not much on it to the middle of the table. Uramatsu able to step in and take that ball. Beautiful whip around deep to the backhand side. A little bit in the middle of the body there, on the backhand side. Seven, three. Again, chop looked heavy. Kong lifted with everything. Sort of floating back. Tug of war fighting for space at the table. Kong from defense back to offense, back in. And then the big finishing ball as Kong tries to leave it up on the table just a little bit too high. Muramatsu makes his move and finishes the point. Now up 8-3 with the serve. Matsu muscles through it for a six-point lead. Kong trying to step around and get the backhand into play, hoping that hitting it with the pips side, the long pips will mess up Muramatsu a bit, but no problem. Lead, Lead service. Three, nine. Excellent Four, combo, nine. fast, long serve with top spin deep to the backhand side, followed up by the attack. Could see he caught Muramatsu off guard there. Ten, and the heavy final chop from Muramatsu gives him six game points to tie this up at one game each. 10-4. And a huge backhand rip with long pips from Kong. Ball left just high enough that he could confidently attack that ball. Shot that's not coming back. Muramatsu, five more game points. And the heavy backhand shot looped off the table by Kong, and it's 11-5 for Muramatsu, tied up at one game each. Back with game three just after this. And as the players come back to the table for game three, 
You could hear the young Korean player in his corner with his coach, Kim po Rae, working with Hyung Jung Hwa. Let's run in Korea. Game three, one game each. Muramatsu coming right back into the table looking for any opportunity to get that forehand attack into play. And that last ball right before that he had a step back came right back in. from the forehand side, and Muramatsu with a strong start. Takes his first two serves for points, and now Kong has the serve at 0-2. These players are not only at one game apiece, but have faced off in matches twice and are at one match apiece. Last time, Kong Dong Su won. Push goes long, Kong Dong Su trailing 0-3. Outstanding touch by Kong. Left up on the table, but Muramatsu gets there and gets the break off the top of the net. Ball looks like it's gonna maybe bounce twice just off the table. And another lucky break as Muramatsu gets the edge of the table to go up 5-0. For those of you watching at home, throwing the paddle at the ball if it hits the net, not really worth doing. Even if you make the shot, if you're not holding the paddle, when it hits the ball, you don't get credit for the shot, so you lose the point. So you're basically giving up when you do that. Kong tries to loop down the middle of the table. He cannot catch a break right now in this game. Down 0-6. The only break he's catching is a towel break. one after another up the long pips and that's the first point for Kong this game trailing still by five points one more serve it's one six for Kong right now Muramatsu's forehand attack is dominating great extension really gets the legs into that ball Attack right into the middle by Kong. Muramatsu left with nothing to do. Tries to side swipe for the chop at the body. So much pace on that ball. It was not very high when he hit it. The self-defense swat. Muramatsu still up 7-2. Outstanding reaction time from Muramatsu. Drop shot not left very high. Kong shows it a little bit early and Muramatsu reads and comes right back in. Very difficult ball to drop. Low spinny fishing shot.
Unbelievable backhand running into the table. Right now, Muramatsu is showing us such a complete game. What can you do? Kong trying everything he can. Backhand short pip attack from near the table, running in at full speed. Ten, two. Kong not able to touch it short on the backhand side with the forehand. It is eight game points for Yuto Muramatsu of Japan. Realizing he has a towel break right now, just a quick wipe of the forehead and back to the table. And what a backhand again. Short pip rip from the backhand of Yuto, Yuto Muramatsu to go up two games to one. Back with game four just after this. And as we come back for game four, Kang Dong Su has the serve, trailing one game to two. And after such a seemingly flawless game, we see a bit of an unforced error from Muramatsu to start off the first point of game four. Big forehand shot from right near the table. He comes back in so quickly. Chop from down below the table, stomp, and he's already there in your face at the edge of the table, ready to crush the ball. Outstanding acceleration back in. Seems like Kong is varying his spin a bit. Efforts that are being rewarded as he leads this game, two points to one. Ball left a little bit high, touch shot. Kong not able to keep it down. Kong now with the serve, two all. Chop of Muramatsu, difficult to read for Kong. It's between a rock and a hard place, because if he leaves it up near the table, he's got to keep it really low to avoid the attack of Muramatsu. Three. And he manages to leave it low enough on that one. Tied up at three all. Players towel off. You have to wonder if the experience of the coach in the Korean corner bringing a lot of clever play to Kong. Normally when playing a chopper, patience is important. Five, four, and the miss hit off the hand of Kong. Muramatsu with a very flat, flat chop, like a bullet. Making sure there's no sweat on the forehand rubber. Don't want to find that out in the middle of a point. Not much you can do then, except hope you don't hit the wet spot. And there was again that bullet chop, this time being blocked by the net. Chop before it a little bit higher, but right on the baseline. And we're tied up at four points each. And a quick swing after a huge forehand attack by Muramatsu. Kong brings it back to the table. 
and then brings himself back to the table, running in a lot of pressure there, tries to go wide to the backhand. Not an easy shot, even though Muramatsu made it look easy. Just off to the side, another quarterfinals match is finished. Finish that, no chance to get that ball back. Even that drop shot that was a little bit high, Kong didn't show until the last moment. So Muramatsu wasn't able to anticipate and get in for the attack. But the last ball, Muramatsu, flat hit out wide to the backhand side and it's gone. points right now. Unbelievable fight from Kong from far from the table, comes running back in. That ball right there looked like it was off for sure, but it boomeranged back into the corner of the table. And then the side swiping chop sails just long, and you can see Muramatsu knows that ball's out as he stands up straight and gets ready for the next point. Had a chance for a two-point lead, but they are neck and neck every point, back and forth right now. That's the first set of counter loops we've seen in this match so far. Big forehand out wide from Kong, and then counter loop right there by Muramatsu. One more loop again, and back to defense for Muramatsu. Goes for the big inside out forehand down the line. Difficult shot, Kong with the lead, 7-6. Little break off the top of the net. Very emotional response from Kong. We saw him toss his paddle before, going for the ball. He's gotta keep his composure right now. Make sure the mental game is strong, stay calm. And again, tied up, seven points each. Long serve, deceptive topspin on it. Kong misreads, tries to play it cross court wide out to the forehand, doesn't cover enough. Very subtle contact. Doesn't make it obvious. You don't need a lot of topspin, but if your opponent misreads it, that's enough. Very similar serve. Looked like he might have put some underspin on it this time, tried to make it look the same, and then missed the third ball opportunity. Again, as we edge toward the finish line of this game, it is tied up eight points each. What can you do against that? Chop after chop, so flat, so heavy, and then just tucks away and explodes through the ball. And he twiddled, he used his inverted on that attack. Even though he's got short pips, much more confident apparently when he needs it with the inverted rubber for the backhand attack. And a quick point, slightly careless. Kong's feet a little far from the table. Tough to lift the ball when it's way out in front of you. He's now fighting off two game points, the first two point lead we've seen from a player since I can't remember when this game. Muramatsu with two serves and two game points. Great 
touch shot right there. Changed his mind at the last moment in the hands of Muramatsu. 11-8, and he's up 3-1 in the men's singles quarterfinals. Game five just after this. で、3 And Yuto, Yuto Muramatsu gonna start us off in game five with the serve and a three to one lead in games. Strong forehand attack placed right into the body from Kong for the first point. Time Kong trying to play to the short side of the table over the height of the net and not able to get it over. Miss hit off the edge of the blade from Muramatsu. Players being forced to be really clever here. And that chop is as deep on the table as they come. It almost looks like it freezes Kong. This bounce. Ripping backhand again as he turns to the inverted side. It's the red side of the paddle from Muramatsu to finish the point. What a quick decision, just snaps through that ball. You can see, as right as he makes that shot, he starts to twiddle his paddle. It's a decision made before he even sees the next ball. Just amazing. Outstanding point right from the start. Muramatsu playing clever. And that shot right there off the very widest side of the table from so far away. And the finishing shot just too close to the net. Timeout is called. Kong will go over to his corner to meet with coach Kim Po Rae of Korea's Let's Run. And we got to hear some good Korean coaching, some good Japanese coaching, for those of you that are fluent in both. See how things play out right now, should be exciting. Sigh of relief, more of a sigh of stress, really. From Kong, now back to the table. Let's see if the timeout serves him well. Go, 
Kong trying to keep the pressure on. Not able to hit through Muram Muramatsu. This time, strong enough pressure and good placement to take the point. He split the first two points after the timeout. Muramatsu still leading by two, 5-3. And these are the points, the scrappy points. Not the beautiful ones, not the long rallies. They're all worth one point. He needs to not let these go. Every point. Seven. Again, two quick, careless points. No timeouts left. Body language not looking good for Kong. Four, seven. And the placement bringing in Muramatsu a little bit. Slows down the shot. Ball has to be taken from near the feet. Between the knee and the, the feet and the knees. Smart variation on the attacks from Kong. And four. So heavy and everything is coming unraveled right now for Kong. Very expressive body language, Muramatsu. Fighting hard, working for every point. Oh, nine, four. Oh. And most of the last five points we've seen have gone quickly to Muramatsu. Very efficient play. Trying to close this out. Two points away from taking the match. Four, ten. And right now, all signs are Yuto Muramatsu. Six match points against Kong Dong Su. And that's it. He only needs the first one, 11-4 for Yuto Muramatsu of Japan over Korea's Kang Dong Su. Yuto Muramatsu will be advancing to the men's singles semifinals. Stick around, we've got another semifinals match for the men's singles just after this short break. Thank you.